Yo, 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 it's Quincy, aka SJ, back at it again with another video. You already know the vibes, and today, today makes five days away from top surgery. Um, I didn't do a day, six days away vlog because I was out all day. I didn't get a chance to uh, like record or post anything. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about yesterday and then talk about what's going on today and just where my mind is at and go on from there. So yesterday, um, well, I joined this cycling group called Fearless Flyers and yesterday was the orientation. Um, I went to the orientation, although I may not be able to uh, continue to be in the program because of top surgery, which makes me really sad because this is something I was trying to do for like four years and I finally got to like go to orientation and get into the group at all. So it's just, it's a cycling group um, that is very inclusive to LGBT community and there's, you know, allies and things that can come on and to join the group. But like I said, I was trying to do this for four years and I finally get an opportunity. I wasn't able to do it before because I had work on the weekends and it was just a mess. So now I'm in and uh, we can't go because top surgery is Friday and we started last week. Well, we started yesterday, Saturday. So it's uh, it's probably a no-go for me, but we're gonna see how things work out. And um, yeah, so I was there for orientation all day yesterday and uh, Fearless Flyers ran ran by a group of my friends as well so I stayed and hang out to hang out with them I haven't hung out with them in a long time so it felt really good to hang out with them and just talk and catch up and like just being around them um this was a it was a really good day like I miss hanging around my friends uh, I feel like I often like to be alone and like in my house or like even when I'm at my mom's house it's just me my mom and my little brother in the house but I like to stay in my room and be like alone. So it was good being out and just talking and catching up about like old things, you know? And we, we literally talk about the same memories all the time, but that's just how great of a memories that we have. So it was good hanging around my friends and just feeling like close to each other and, you know, just doing things that we used to do when we were like a lot younger, just catching up. Um, I was also supposed to go yesterday to the pharmacy with my mom to pick up some things that I needed for surgery. Um, I didn't get to do that because I had the orientation and it lasted a little longer than I thought it would have. And then it was just too late because it was also a weekend. Pharmacy closed um, earlier on the weekends. So I'm still trying to figure that out. However, um, I am going back to my mom's house this week and hopefully I'll be able to go with her to go pick up some things. If not, I'll just have to write it out and she'll pick it up. So like, but I do like, kind of want to be there to make sure she gets the right stuff, but whatever. Um, that's just, that's all that happened yesterday. Nothing too big. Um, but today I didn't really do much either. My weekends are just pretty chill. Um, this morning I kind of just chilled in my crib watched some Netflix and then I took a nap and I woke up and I went to a brunch for one of my friend's birthday and it was really cool I didn't drink I was just sitting there chilling um it was really hard to be around that I mean not hard and like I mean I need to drink all the time when I go out which I don't so but it was really hard because everyone was lit and there was so many bottles around and I really just wanted to get lit and I didn't I drank pineapple juice and it was really good pineapple juice too. So I was chilling, I was fine. Um, I was hookah around, I couldn't do hookah. I was just there, you know? But I had a good time. I'm always lit without um, alcohol anyway, so it was cool. Um, also, so like I, after the brunch, I came home um, and now I'm here making this video. So just kind of update like where I'm at mentally. Um, it's really hitting me now that I'm having a surgery um, and like how serious it is. Uh, people are starting to, like, I knew the, this information, but like now saying it out loud is becoming like, whoa, for me, right? Um, by, and by me saying this doesn't make me like discouraged or like hesitant about getting my procedure done. I still know I need this for myself. I still know I want this. I'm not making a mistake. This is just 
me talking out loud, right? Um, so people are like asking me like, oh, how long is the procedure? How long do you have to stay in the hospital? How long is this and this and this? So like when I'm saying it now, it's like, damn. Like it, the procedure itself is three hours, right? But I'll literally be in the hospital all day because I have to wake up from the anesthesia and make sure it doesn't have any side effects, um, you know, from like waking up. I'm not going through anything afterwards. Um, and that's scary. Like just the anesthesia at all, that whole thing is scary because like there's a possibility that something can go wrong, but there is a, a really good uh, chance that nothing will. But I'm just, I'm just really nervous, you know, about surgery it's in itself. So, yeah. Um, so that's just really what I've been thinking about a lot to, today because I was just talking to one of my friends and then they were like really questioning like, man, like I hope everything works out. I hope everything's okay. And I just want to come to the hospital and visit you and all these things. So I was really excited to hear that they were like, you know, checking up on me and looking for me. But also they kind of like made me think and think about everything that's really about to happen, you know? Not that I haven't been thinking about it before, obviously, it's just, it kind of like hit me today. It was like, damn, like literally five fingers away uh, from top surgery. So yeah, I'm excited. Still very excited for this to come. It still feels very surreal. Um, I just never thought I'd get here. I thought I would be the type to just keep pushing it off, but like it feels good to know that it's happening. It feels good and it feels right. And like, I feel like I'm making an amazing decision because if you don't like something, right? Just change it. Like if, you, if it doesn't make you feel comfortable and go ahead and change it, do what you gotta do to get up out of this funk. And if you can make these uh, decisions, if you have to pay a little more money to do something to make you feel better about something, then go ahead and do it. Like, don't let anyone discourage you. That's what I'm kind of like telling myself. Don't let anyone discourage you. And um, just do you, do your own thing. You know, you march to the beat of your own drum. And that's just the way I kind of live life. I, I try not to look for outside, you know, outside feedback or anything. I'll ask definitely, but at the end of the day, only my choice matters, and that's just what I'm doing. So, I appreciate, again, everybody who's been hitting me up, just, you know, talking to me, and just keeping me in high spirits, keeping me in their prayers and their thoughts. Um, just, I appreciate everyone. So, thank you for watching this video. My bad for skipping the sixth day. I will try not to do that again, but... I'll keep you more updated during this week. Um, just let you know what I'm kind of like doing for the day. Um, and that's really it. Go check out all my other videos. I started at 11 day for my vlog. So check out those and work your way down till you get to zero days left, which will be on Friday the 13th. Um, catch me then. I will post, I will try to post while I'm in the hospital, but you know, they have rules against those things. So. I will do the best that I can. I appreciate everyone for texting me, writing me, calling me, everyone who said they're gonna drop by the hospital. I understand that you wanna drop by, but we're not trying to have an entourage at the hospital. So I appreciate if you come follow, uh, come visit me after, afterwards. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at sjthealmighty. Send me an email at sjthealmighty at gmail.com. Make sure you follow me on all social medias. I only have Instagram and I say that like I have anything else. So go check me out there. But um, thank you for vibing out with me and uh, catch you next time.